would say the biggest challenge I see today for students and teenagers, you know, when it comes to diversity, equity, and inclusion is making sure that they aren't falling into the echo chamber and that they aren't sort of limiting themselves to only being exposed to resources that already confirm their own views of the world. I think school should be that place where they get an opportunity to engage other people, different points of view. And my own two kids who've been here at Reserve, I've, I'm always excited when they come home and say, I had this great debate in class with this kid who sees something completely completely from a different perspective and you know they have these teachers who are sort of helping guide the conversation and helping them to be thoughtful about the information that they are encountering and I think that is the root of being able to really do diversity work well is communication and sort of openness and being able to talk and debate in a productive and fruitful way. This year, Dr. Greenwood and I have both been very intentional about helping students really understand what is an affinity group, why is it important, because I think, you know, on, in an obvious way, when you think of diversity work, we're thinking we should all be getting together, right, and sort of ignoring our differences and, you know, only thinking about what we have in common, but I think especially when you have a diverse community like this where you have kids who are out of their comfort zone, who are in a new environment, that it's really important they have spaces to come together with people who they have things in common with. And everybody enjoys getting together with people who they have something in common with, right? Whether it's a hobby, a sport, around, you know, race, around gender, around religion on Sundays, right? Like those moments are really beneficial and sort of bolster your confidence and give you, you know, some momentum to be able to go out and connect with others. So we've tried to really help the kids drive that process to say, you know, what affinity groups do you feel like are necessary and beneficial? And, you know, they've really been able to just take it and run with it. In the past four years that I've been here, I'm the most excited I've been about. Um, you know, where the school is headed in terms of diversity, equity, and inclusion. We have leadership that supports the initiatives. We have a faculty that's willing to jump in and do whatever is asked of them. And we have student support too, So, and, I, and even family support. On all those levels, we, we feel so supported. Um, I can't help but be really excited about where we're headed.